Hello, my dear chickadees. I hope everyone is well. I'm doing great. I wanted to do something a little different with this video today. And what I have for you, we're going to be using some beautiful images from Digital Collage Club. I have some of her beautiful women that are, um, you know, like more in the 1920s, 1930s. And I'll explain what we're going to do with this later. But first and foremost, I came across this cute little box. Look at this box. Can you see that? I hope there's not a glare on it. This recipes, it's probably from the 50s, 60s. Um, I love this font. I just love it. But we're going to alter it. So the first thing we're going to do is I have to prime it. So I'm going to gesso it and then I'm going to paint over it. I want to do it like a, maybe like a taint, like an ivory sort of color, but I'm going to have to gesso it so the paint will adhere better. And plus it, you know, gives it a little bit more of a coat on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I wanted to show you what this looked like. This is the box. It's really, really cool. That type of hinge on the back. And um, I'm going to alter it. And I'm going to try to do as much as I can on the video for you with the process video. But I'm going to um, kind of edit some things out where you don't need to watch me paint and things of that nature. So I will be right back. I'll be back. Hi, y'all. Okay. So what I've done is I've painted the box. Here's what it looks like. I have to do the bottom. But it is all finished paint wise and then I've cut out some paper that I'm going to adhere around it on top of it you know I don't know I might be doing multi different papers but right now I'm looking at like this script writing <clears throat> so here's some pieces I cut out and I'm going to go ahead and do that and figure out what papers I want and then adhere it and um, with Digital Collage Club's images I am using the Vintage Ladies Postcard, it's number 568 in um, her site, and I enlarged these so I can fit them in the box, but we'll get to that later. And I'm also using her dominoes. These, I believe, are called Victorian Era dominoes, and they are number 740, and those I left as is. I didn't enlarge them or manipulate them or anything. And I'm going to use some images off of that. So he, these are my two sheets and I'm going to cut these out and then I will be back. Okay, so I papered everything up. Here's what the front on the top looks like. Frontal view, size, and um, the back. And everything is painted. I put some paper in here. I'm going to embellish just a little, this more in here. But for now, I just wanted you to see this step. And so I painted it and I papered it. And I have these really, really funky vintage, uh, I guess they were like some type of Rolodex or something. And they're really, really nice. They're sturdy and uh, this here is metal and it's got these little tabs. So I thought that I can alter the tabs with some type of, category or something I don't know I have to see what I come up with and then I'm going to alter these with paper and embellish it and so forth and I would like to put them in here but obviously you can see that doesn't um, fit so I'm going to have to cut them down alter it so it fits into here and I'm going to do that next and just add paper and embellishments to it and um, we'll go from there I'll see you soon Okay, so I kind of got carried away. I started doing a lot of my paper and altering and did the titles and so I just kind of went with it and that way I can show it to you briefly and then I'm also going to decorate the top. I've got some really cute little, little doodahs here. I've got some flowers. I've got this really nice hefty flat metal a pocket watch and then I punched out some leaves and I distressed them I have some really sweet this is a, a hand knitted little 
vintage doily another little tiny one I think I bought that one and then I've got these really cute flowers that match the color I even pulled out some feathers I have a little scissors here a little metal scissors a little key I tied a pink ribbon on it so it matches this color and I'm going to adhere that to the top and I'll probably do that off camera also so the next time I come back I'm going to just kind of do a flip through of the actual box in its completion and um, show you how everything came out but so here are some of the cards from Digital Collage Club and um, I did let's see told you these were number 568 they're the vintage ladies postcards so I kind of did a lot of just the um, flat stuff and then I'm gonna go in and I want to alter some like little envelopes and make some embellishments and here are let me pull one of these out so here's how I embellished one of these index cards I cut it down to make it fit put paper on it here a little embellishment here I put dreams this is what the back looks like and so that fits in there nicely and it says dreams love goals inspire and then what I did with the dominoes I told you that was number 740 Victorian era dominoes I took these index cards and I distressed all around them the back is blank the front is lined and these are the dominoes images from Digital Collage Club I used some white paper and I used some decorative scissors to give it like that torn edge look and I adhered that to the index cards which you can see all filed through here but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decorate the top and get all the tchotchke stuff on it and my doodahs and then I'm going to come back and give you a complete flip through. Okay, I'll be back in a few. Hello. Okay, now I finished putting on all my doodahs here and I have them in placement where I'd like it to be. I have flowers and the doilies, the distressed leaves, feathers my large pocket watch and the little key with the ribbon that's how the top came out and inside I have a little pair of scissors that I put here and then here in the box we're gonna go through it like almost like a flip through but it's in the journal box itself so the first thing is I had these vintage little envelopes that I had um, purchased in this vintage sewing lot that I had gotten and it had these cute 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 little envelopes and I thought we could utilize that and put some tags in there and you could put your little journals secret notes pictures little keepsakes whatever you think and obviously I decorated it. it's got a little metal key on there uh, digital collage club I decided to use some more images and these are her vintage fashion lace holders they're number 720 and what I did was when you normally print something out it is like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper I put my prompt on the computer to five by seven so it shrunk it down to about this size because I wanted it smaller for it to go into the box so this is um, one of them that I used and then the second one I used I actually put lace on and then we did the vintage postcards earlier this is one of them here and then I have my altered index card um, what would you get like your divider and so that stays in there like that and then as you flip through I have this little shaker case envelope and I filled it it's got some acetate for the window and then I filled it with all these little tiny kind of like stationary hand stamped pieces and this says I know this is tiny but this is postcard 
you get three, four, five, six of those. And then I have tiny little postcards. Well, this one says postcard, but then this one is a, a like a French stamped postcard. So you get one, two, three, four, five of those. Some clocks that are hand stamped and really great for embellishments, embellishing in here, or if you have another journal or scrapbooking, to so get all these little doodahs that you can do whatever you want with it, and some tags. And then they fit really nicely. That one fell in there. Of course, it's not gonna cooperate. Okay, so we get that there. Put this in here. And then we have a like a nice little shaker pocket. It's got script on it, writing, old writing. And it has a brown satin ribbon. And then what I did was I found some Rolodex cards. And in each section you're going to get the same amount, which is one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them. And these are the domino images that I had showed you earlier. And what I did was I distressed it, I cut them out, I distressed it, then I put it on a piece of white paper and I took decorative scissors and I cut around it so it gave it that torn look. And then I distressed all the edges on every single index card so you have it looking a little vintage and shabby and, and of you know that nature so we have this really cute woman this little sweet cat isn't he cute and then the rest of the pink I left plain or if you decide to buy any of digital collage images or you belong to her club uh, or um, shop in her Etsy store you can buy more or whatever and you can add to it if you want here's a boot a vintage woman and then the rest are plain and so you'll get that in every section of where it's tabbed because I'm going to put this into my Etsy store at Golden Nest Studio and I'll provide the link below and let's see so that's dreams and then when we go to goals we have this lovely postcard there's goals. And then I have another vintage extra buttons little envelope and in it has the tags also like the first one. Another vintage image um, lace holder. And then we have more of the index cards. These are the two pink that have the dominoes on top, and then you have your plain. Oops, that one's upside down. And then when you get to the white, we have her. Isn't she lovely? Love the colors. Some you may get a little bit more, some you may get a little bit less. It just depends. Another postcard. This section is love. tag here that you can journal on. Some more postcards. Another boot. Beautiful Victorian. It's, it's a little child and those are plain. And I have this woman here. And then we have this gentleman. He's so dapper. I like him. He's funny. And then the blank index cards another postcards with these women. I love this image. I love their faces. And this one is Inspire. I created this tag here. The journal on, it's distressed. Everything is distressed. Um, Another of the index card, the pink one, and this one is with a woman's hand. This one is with a little boy. 
Or it could be a girl. I don't really know. Cute. That's all I know. It's cute. And the blank ones. Get down to the white ones. We have this lovely woman. They have like a kind of like an ad. An advertisement. The rest are blank. And then back here, we have another image, uh, the vintage fashion lace image. And I put some Rick Rack on that. I have a little, um, it's a little paper bag, a little sack. And I put a little key on it, decorated it. Now these were the scraps of what came off of what I decorated the Rolodex in um, sections. And they're still great in use. So I just stuck all of those in the bag and you can cut them up, you can punch them out, you can um, write on them as little journaling tags, die cut them, whatever your thought process is. So they fit really nicely in this bag and they fit really nicely sideways. And then I created three of these little, I call them like little pamphlets, little, little um, fold outs here and attach some vintage fabric that I've come across. And we have this one here with like vintage ads and women. And then this one has vintage chairs. And this one is vintage music paper that I had. And you can journal in it, you can put photos in it, you can put cardstock in it if you wanna um, you know, maybe cover up some of this vintage music. Again, whatever it is that you can use it for. And so, yeah, excuse me. That is my latest and greatest project. I saw this cute little box that totally enticed me. I just loved how it hinged. It was so vintage and so retro. And of course it was like that ugly brown, but again, don't let anything like that stop you. Just alter it and start using the things that you have hold, been holding on to and just create something that is to your liking. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it inspired you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you can please subscribe, very much appreciate it. And if anyone is interested in any videos that are forthcoming, just tap on that little bell and you'll get a notification that I've released a video. I hope you all have a good day, that you all are well, and that you all are very much inspired. And I'll be listing this in my shop, so go take a peek. Thank you. Bye.